Hey, thanks for checking this out. I'm really excited to share with you where self-energy comes from. To me, this is such a potentially game-changing way of looking at it because we all want to live with greater love, greater joy, and greater peace. And if we can really understand where self-energy comes from, we can hopefully live with more of it. So, so first, briefly, in internal family systems, you know, what is self-energy? Self-energy is known by the eight C's. So compassion, calmness, curiosity, confidence, courage, clarity, connectedness, and creativity. And the key question that's utilized in IFS is, how am I feeling towards something? How am I feeling towards a person? How am I feeling towards a part? How am I feeling towards a situation? And if there's the presence of any of these qualities of the eight C's, that's self-energy. And then we know that um, there is what we call in IFS, a self-to-part relationship. That's the key thing I want to bring forward, right? Is there's a relationship between self and part. So before I go further, I want to give a quick experiential around this. Uh, and what I want you to do right now is just notice in your body what it feels like. Just taking a kind of mental snapshot. And now I invite you, if this sounds okay, to bring forward someone or something where love comes very easily for you. Someone or something is just easy to love. So that could be an animal, could be a child, could be a place in nature, could be a piece of music you love. So just bringing something that's very easy to love to come forward. And just noticing how are you feeling towards it? So when I do this example with people, people often notice, oh yeah, I feel something kind of softening kind of in my heart area, or I feel something opening or a warm sensation come through. That's self-energy emerging. And where is that coming from? So drawing from wisdom in traditional Chinese medicine, there is a principle, qi or life force energy arises out of the interaction between yin and yang. So yin and yang are two things that are related, but opposites, light and dark, positive and negative, form and formless, seen and unseen, masculine and feminine. And this principle of energy arising out of a relationship between two opposites is found elsewhere. You know, you look at electricity, electricity emerges out of the relationship between a negative ion and a positive ion. Dan Siegel has uh, created something called interpersonal neurobiology. It's also based on systems theory and um, chaos theory. Anyways, he has a principle that says between rigidity and chaos, which are a yin yang opposite pair, there is a river of well being. So, this concept of energy emerging out of two seeming opposites is really the key. And self-energy is just another reflection of that. Self-energy arises out of a relationship between self and part or self and the body. You know, when we're thinking about, we're bringing forward somebody, we're bringing forward a relationship where we're feeling a certain way towards a person. The relationship is where it is coming from. And in the IFS community, there's often this conversation around, oh, I want to be in self. And the challenging thing with this, it's kind of like, um, well, it's kind of like pulling the horse before the carriage because it's an, that's the outcome, yeah, to be in self. But the problem with the languaging around this is that we can forget it's the relationship that created that outcome. And to me, this understanding this, this is why that can be such a game changer because we know in this, what I'm saying is not new in the sense of like, like intuitively, like there's these sayings, like, you know, people remember not what you say, but how you make them feel. So to me, that's just another example of a relationship. It's not about relating in our head with something. It's about relating from our heart. And when we can relate from our heart, 
with something. Self-energy just naturally is a byproduct. And so I wanted to share this with you all because so much of the magic of what happens with good connection with someone or with a client or a patient or whoever you're serving or you're working with, you notice and you can feel self-energy emerging because of the relationship that you have with that person or with their hearts. And to me, focusing on the relationship dynamic is really where more and more self-energy can emerge. So if you found this useful, you can like this uh, or feel free to subscribe and thanks for listening.